Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. What is up? How are you? Hope everyone is doing great because I am. I am ready to do a makeup tutorial with some drugstore candy. That's right. Who doesn't like candy? I know I love candy. Hello. It shows up right here when I eat too much of it. But I have forgotten about this brand and it just popped back up into my life. And so I wanted to do an, um, an eye and lip look like I usually do. They've got new products. The last time I saw this, I was living in Florida. Um, a girlfriend gave me a gift. It was Heart Candy Lip Gloss. And I had already had an eye palette, but I never used it. And it got old and I had to toss it. So now that I've found it again, I wanted to do a look using some candy so if you really want to see how this one comes out i'm excited because i love the colors and these are wet you can wet them so i don't want to say they're wet to dry what do i mean you can wet them and really um intensify the color that's what i mean so if you haven't already please comment like subscribe become a part of muscle po and and or at least think about it i would love to have you Welcome back to um, all my subscribers and to anybody who's new. My name is Jules and welcome. So let's get started because I'm really, 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 really wanting to, to get this going. All right, I'm gonna zoom you in. I already have, of course, my basic makeup done. I did do a contour routine for a diamond shaped face. I hope you check that out. I'll leave that attached somewhere. This is so cute, I have to show you. Uh, they're very neutral colors. They're like pinks and a little, I guess, mauves and pearl colors. Oh my god, they're so pretty. So I am going to open this up. And it does come with these two little brushes, but does anybody use these? Tell me in the comment below if you have found a use for these because I swear I don't use these ever. I think I'm going to just toss those get those out. I'm going to start off with the lightest shade in the palette. And of course, all my brushes are dirty, but that's okay. If you guys forget to wash your brushes and you don't know what to do because you need to use your brushes, this is a color cleaner. And let me see, this is a makeup brush cleaner series. And it comes, this comes off, this is the top. And then there's like a little sponge in there and you just like kind of dip it in. You have to clean the sponge every once in a while, but this really does get your, your brushes clean. Like a bird. These are quite shimmery and a bit glittery but I'm okay with that. And I didn't actually, because I'm using all drugstore and I didn't have a primer for my lid, I just put concealer and uh, a little bit of my foundation. It didn't really cover all my veins, but that's okay too. Okay, so I'm going in to the next color. Let me grab, I'm gonna grab a pointed brush and a blending brush. The shadows are kind of glittery it's not a chunky glitter. I'm not one to like chunky glitters in my shadow. I actually like it. So I set my lid with that color and I'm gonna go into this one and I'm gonna use that as a transition shade. On a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here. Alrighty, and now I'm going to go in with the darkest color in the palette, and I'm going to put that in the outer corner and in my crease. And I'm going in with my usual brushes. I'm using the Smashbox the pointed brush, and then I'm using my Real Techniques shader brush, and this is a Royal and Lang Langnickel flat brush. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful. Alrighty, so I set the crease. I'm gonna go back in with my shader brush and I'm going to kind of smoke it, not smoke it out, but blend it in a little bit more with that lighter color. You and me. 
just to get rid of any harsh lines. And with a flat brush, this is a generic flat brush, I'm going to wet it. And no, I'm not going to use any setting spray or anything. I'm not, I'm not so fancy. I'm going to go into that pink color. And I'm going to, like I said, with the brush, with some water, plain old water, and I'm going to set that color all over the lid. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the darkest color just to kind of blend the, ed the outer edge. And add a little bit more depth right in the corner. Like I said, these are very glittery. If you don't like glitter, I think the glitter is pretty fine, but they are, it can be, it looks a tiny. It's not the finest glitter I've ever used, but for some reason, I kind of like it. So that is the basic look, the eye look. I'm not gonna go back in. This is one of my favorite eyeliners. It's waterproof. I don't, it's not waterproof. It's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. And this eyeliner has vitamin E. It's a generic um, brand. It's from Italia Deluxe. I'm gonna show you real quick. And that's the front of it. I've shown you these before. I have white and black and several other colors. So I'm just going to create a nice cat eye because I haven't done my cat eye in a while. All right, so cat eye is done. Now for the lower portion of my eye, I am going to go in with the darkest color. I'm going to go back to my pointed smash box brush and I'm going to add some color there and I'm going to go in with a liner to kind of deepen it. So it's not so harsh because this is more of a day color. I'm going in with the Wet n Wild liner. Oh, I've, the color's rubbed off, but it's a brown liner. And I am just really close at the lash line. I'm just going to define it a bit just to give it a deepness without it being black. All right, that's it. This is the eye. So. I'm going to try something new, something I've never tried before with lashes. I'm going to do my lashes in the regular way. I'm going to be using um, the Maybelline Great Lash and the L'Oreal Manga um, mascaras. And I'm going to be trying individual lashes. And I'm a cheater because all I did was take these lashes that I bought online. These are the three, these are 3D what are they? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. These are Asian lashes that I bought for like $2 on the Wish app. And this is what they look like. Let me just take them out. That's what they look like. I kind of cut this one up. As you can see, they're the 3D number 25 lashes. And I want to see, because I'm so bad with strip lash lashes, I want to see if that makes any difference. But I need to do that off camera because, you know, I don't want to make an utter fool out of myself. So I'll be right back. I'm going to do my lashes. I'm going to do my other eye and I'll be back to finish up the face. Hey guys. Okay. My eyes are done and I really do like them. What I did to my lashes were really, really quick because I am super excited. Like I said, I used the Great Lash from Maybelline and the Manga from L'Oreal. I curled my lashes. I got them really lifted. The great lash is great for that because it's got that curved wand. So I wiggled, got in there and really lifted my lashes after I curled them. Then I, over the top of that, I went in with manga to make them even longer. And I literally have three individual lashes, one at the end, one in the middle and one 
towards the inner corner of my eye and this is this is what they look like i mean i don't know why i wasn't doing this before but yeah this is the eye look now let's let me finish the face before i really zoom in and show you everything okay so i want to highlight a little bit okay so i'm going to be using the milani blush and rose romantic rose let's just add a bit of blush Sometimes you need to go. Okay, that's perfect. I didn't want too much color. Now let's highlight. I'm going in with the Milani counter and highlight. I'm going into the highlight part and let us highlight. And take a step back to see the truth around you. From Very pretty, subtle highlight. Distance you can tell. Ah. There's a lot of sparkle on the eye, so I was going to add um, a powder highlight, but because the eyes are so sparkly, I'm going to just leave it at that subtle highlight. And now for the lips. I'm going to go back in with the Wet n Wild Lip Liner in brown, and I'm going to use a hard candy. This is a velvet mousse matte lip and it comes so cute it comes in this little tin and this is what it looks like what color is this did i tell you the color this is in the color fox glove so let me line i know you don't really need liner when it's like a matte lipstick but this color I haven't tried it on before I think it goes perfect with the eye color and then the slightly pink cheeks but yeah this is this is the look this is a my want some candy drugstore candy look let me let me just let me just take it all in yeah I like it a lot it is a very shimmery shadow i think because of the charlotte tilbury craze and the way her shadows are very very shimmery very very sparkly i think that this is becoming more of a go-to for people because i know that i would never have done this a while ago but now that i've been really watching really closely charlotte tilbury's channel and all the looks that she creates with her very shimmery shadows i'm liking it more and more and more so let me let me zoom you in a little bit closer this is the look. This is my hot candy eye and lip look. Okay, guys, I was really excited to do this. I'm very happy that I did do it. I don't know how I just fell off the wagon with hard candy, but let me tell you, I love this palette. This is the Mod Quad. I think I already told you the Brownie Ports. I don't know why, because it's like pinks and mauves. They're taupey. This, this, these shadows would go with almost any lip color. I could have gone really, really dark. I could have gone really, really pale. Um, the velvet matte lipsticks, I love. They don't dry completely, because I know I've tried the lighter one, and that's really, really, really light. It's just a very, very um, light pink color. They don't really fully dry, but I love the way they feel. They're not drying. And yeah, I mean, I love, I love the shadows. So I would, I would highly, highly recommend if you're looking for shadows that look good wet or dry and kind of have that shimmery effect like Charlotte Tilbury, very, um, a bit of glitter, but not that chunky glitter that looks really tacky. You may want to try this. They're very, very inexpensive. The lipsticks are very inexpensive. I think I paid $8 for each of the lipsticks and the quad was like five dollars and of course ebay's my friend and that's where i got them but this is the end of my video again i hope that you picked up a trick or two and yes i will not be using strip lashes for a while because i really do like the placement of the individual lashes so if you're like me and you do not like strip lashes they weigh my lids down i don't do them well and i suffer every time i, I put them on my eyes so 
I don't know. I'm just, I'm so happy with this video and I'm so happy with these products. And I hope that you're excited and as happy as I am with how this came out. I think I'm just feeling really good because with the contacts and not having strip lashes, it just feels so wonderful and so freeing. But yeah, I still have the nice, you know, fluffy lashes that I like. So I think that's why I'm so happy. But anyway, this is the end of my video. Guys, make good makeup decisions and I will see you in my next video.